All right, so today we won't be. So it's a little bit late today, so it's going to be a little short one. Today we're not going to be uh, coding. So uh, probably in the next tutorial we're going to be coding like more attacks like aerials or smash attacks or tilts. Uh, stuff like that. Or specials. I uh, can't believe I forgot specials. Anyways, uh, not all of them in one video, but we're probably going to start on them the next tutorial. But in this tutorial, we're going to get ready for coding them, okay? So, first of all, in the local script, uh, actually, not the, yeah, con actually, I mean combat. So, um, first of all, uh, you might have noticed that this is our way of playing the animations for yeah, for the attacks and it's pretty bad because uh, since every character well I mean you're gonna have a lot of attacks so you're gonna have a lot of animations and if you just keep on doing the animations like this it's gonna it's gonna take a while so uh, we're gonna fix that first of all we're gonna make a table called local anim table equals this and yeah that's basically all except um that's not all we're gonna all right so i'm gonna get all so you see like under the combat we have all the animations so believe it or not we are going to delete all of this yep and we just deleted it so now we're gonna yeah we have this actually we can put it back back to looking like this and we're gonna do for this in pairs uh script get children do if v is an animation then local anim track equals script dot parent uh wait for child humanoid dot animator load animation v Anim track dot priority goes enum that animation priority to action four. Now here's where it gets a little bit finicky. We're gonna put table that insert anim table. We're gonna put something inside the anim table, but we're gonna put a table inside of a table. Table inside of the anim table, and that table will have two things inside of it. The first thing, which is the first index, will be the name so we can just do v dot name and the second index the second thing that's that we're gonna put is going to be the actual anim animation track so anim track so yeah now uh after all this is run the anim table should have um all of these inside of it the names of it and the corresponding animation track so now we're gonna do uh, we're gonna delete all of this and we're gonna do anim track well not my bad anim table uh, what are these called bracket right uh, bracket well not brackets my bad we're gonna do a for loop again for uh, this v and pairs anim table do if v uh, one and the v1 is basically the first index and the first index is the name of the animation so v1 equals animation because the animation is the name of the animation so it's checking if it's the animation then v2 play and v remember v2 is basically uh the second the second index of the uh, um table inside of the anim table which is the animation track. So yeah, this is really confusing. I'm trying, it's no, yeah. Honestly, it's you can under you can understand it better if you're the one that's um actually know how to do this. This is really hard to like explain. So yeah, uh, just remember one and two are the indexes. So now um, if we press play, everything should be the same. And yeah. It's taking a while to load. 
All right, so. Yeah, it's not working. Well, I mean, wait. Yeah, the attacks are working, but... Okay, so the, so the attacks are working, but uh, the animations aren't playing, so... I'm gonna go... Uh, let me see why this is like that. So I think it's because you can't find the value inside the anim table. So... Let us see your scripted children. FV is it animation? V dot name anim track. All right, I'm going to use printing to help me debug this because I can't figure it out myself I'm gonna do some printing so uh, I'll probably yeah I'll cut this out until I figure out how to solve this so you guys don't have to okay so uh, before we do any of that we're gonna fix something uh, which I missed last tutorial which was you can't once you start sprinting you can't stop sprinting until you jump or crouch so I fixed that I added else we're gonna take defense control over here and there was supposed to be something down here, but we're going to completely remove that along with the else. And yeah, I think that's all. And I'm going to lower how long we have to wait until we like, until, how long we have to wait, be still until we stop sprinting. So I'm going to put that down to 0 0.3. So. so I figured out the problem. It turns out that uh, we got to wait until the animation is load and the character loads until we can do the stuff. So... First, you guys gotta add this. This basically just checks if when the animations and the uh, character loads in. And then we change a few things. First of all, that we instead of inserting a table into a table, we're just gonna insert the animation track into a table. If you look at here. And another thing we changed is down here. Since uh, we aren't adding animations and I mean table into a table, we uh, we change. It's much more simpler. So just copy this down and. Yeah, that's basically getting ready for what we're about to do. So, yeah, there will be pacements like always, and yeah. 